Hi, 28 years ago, a Dutch animation company called Neo Geo was founded. Uh, not that Neo Geo. They quickly became the largest 3D animation studio in the Netherlands. Why? 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 Be patient, I'm about to tell you why, okay? Part of their success was due to their excellent in-house tool, which they called Traces. Later, the creator of Traces and co-founder of Neo Geo, Ton Rosendahl, thought, Hey, my program is so good. Therefore, he started a new company called Not A Number, devoted to developing it, and he gave it a new name, based on this very song by Yellow, entitled Blender. My ladies, please come closer. But don't ask me why. I have the great honor and pleasure to present your turn next. In 2002, facing financial difficulties, Ton made Blender open source, allowing anyone to download it and modify it as they pleased. Now, the art made in Blender is professional grade, and Blender is an award-winning, full-featured, free 3D creation suite downloaded millions of times every year and being used by companies and individuals globally. It is a great time to get started learning this program. My name is Jesse. This is How to Blend. Let's get started with Blender. Our topic presently is getting started with Blender. The first part is downloading Blender. The second part is installing Blender. The third part is running Blender. And the fourth part is a final challenge. The goal is that by the end of these videos, you'll have Blender on your computer and you'll be able to use it, which is probably important. Now, I realize a lot of you have probably already gotten this far. If that's the case, don't worry. Feel free to skip these videos. You won't hurt my feelings. I've already got your view. Yeah! But if you are on howtoblend.com, do the topic check. You'll earn points and you'll know you knew the knowledge. Okay, if you're still with us, let's move on to part one, downloading Blender. Downloading Blender is easy, it's free. The download size is way smaller than the other 3D packages and it supports all the operating systems you've heard of. Most people get Blender from the official Blender Foundation website, blender.org. You'll come here a lot. New versions of Blender are released every three months or so, and they got lots of new goodies. Blender doesn't auto-update, so you have to do it yourself. Don't be a baby about it. This website is likely to change, but the link for the download will always be big, somewhere on the front page, and show a version number. Blender.org has some other stuff worth checking out, too. You got the development blog, the user manual, you got the Blender store, and updates on open movies being developed. But for now, let's just hit up the download page. On this page, you'll see a bunch of download links arranged by operating system. Select your system, whether it be Windows, Mac, Linux, or even FreeBSD, which if you didn't know, is kind of like Unix. And if you did know, why do you need to watch a video about downloading stuff? If you are using Windows, you gotta choose between the installer or zipped version. I like the installer. The file size is smaller and it creates the shortcuts to your start menu and desktop. Others prefer zipped because you can cycle the version of Blender you're using on the fly. And you can put it on a flash drive and run Blender straight from the stick on any public computer or what have you. Windows and Linux users also need to determine whether they have a 64 or 32-bit operating system. Figured out like this, on Windows, check by visiting the File Explorer, right-clicking this PC and selecting Properties, and then read the system type listing. On Linux, open the terminal and type lscpu. Look at the CPU op mode, and if you see two values, check the architecture listing for the number 64. No 64, you're using 32-bit. Finally, select a server location or mirror near you for what is presumably the fastest speed. It doesn't truly matter where you save Blender, just make sure it isn't hard to find. And for Pete's sake, put all the Blender versions you collect into their own folder, which you'll notice I creatively labeled Blender versions. And when the download is done, you are ready to install. Think, think, think. Oh yes, time for my stoutness exercise.
Hey, did you notice how Winnie was exercising? And that's challenging? And this is also a challenge? This challenge is seriously simple. Just download Blender. Go to blender.org, find the download page, look for the section with your operating system, figure out your operating system type, choose a download location near you, and save to a folder you won't forget. Then, when you've successfully downloaded Blender, go to the next video.